what do you want people to know? Bringing them together regarding this economic development mm -hmm. and teaching them and passing it on to their children. How much time do we have? Because I can. <laughs> I can elaborate on with that question literally for hours. Well, let, let's put it in, uh, <laughs> let's say, uh, wrap it up in two minutes. Two minutes, I can yes. do that. Well, first of all, <laughs> my passion is making yes. a difference. Yeah. And how through economic development, if you look at the problems in the community or in the world, mm -hmm. they basically boil down to two things, socioeconomic, okay? okay. You've got organizations that are philanthropic, who deal with some of the social I love that. <laughs> I love that word. Say it again. Just philanthropic. <laughs> that deal with some of the social ills. Okay. And there are very few organizations that actually deal with the economics. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of one of those things that's kind of left out. So that's my passion is economic development and making a difference and allowing others to recognize the value of collective efforts. My background is very diverse in technology and mm -hmm. I, I uh, support it one of the largest companies in the world, actually. I won't mm -hmm. even drop any names. However, I'll say this. Corporations do three things very effectively. Mm -hmm. Merge, acquire, and strategically partner. Okay. And people in our country, in this capitalistic society, they're too caught up in individualism. Mm. And so when you understand that, if you really want to be powerful, it's going to be through numbers. So the power of one entity working collaboratively, collaboratively. versus independently. Mm -hmm. So that's the passion about making a difference and what I'm passionate about is getting people to understand together versus independent. Yeah. So getting if you're involved in economic development or you are involved in, you know, investing, financing in some way, pull in someone else with you. Pull up someone else with you. One, two other people. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Educate your children. Absolutely, but you also have to be conscious of the difference between rich and wealth. Now, how do you go about doing that? Well, just understanding What's the, the difference. Understanding the terminology. When someone wins the lottery, mm -hmm. they get rich. Okay. If you visit the average lottery winner seven years after they've gotten their lottery winnings, mm -hmm. they're broke mm -hmm. because they didn't have financial literacy to understand how to invest that money. Okay. Wealthy is owning an oil well, for example, that yes. replenishes and the oil never stops. And so our principles are about wealth building strategies and using the term correctly, not using it out of context. Absolutely. Now we're going to be getting back to you with okay. more of that. But first up, I want you to please take a look at our exciting band, Climb. Awesome. Haha. <laughs> Yesterday upon the stair I met a man who wasn't there Don't think he noticed me My head was full of such confusion But it seems my illusions Don't seem to bother me Am I losing my mind? I think I'm going insane as far as I can tell, no one is to blame This voice in my head that keeps on laughing at me It says I'm out of my tree I'm really out of my tree The head jumped through the looking glass I'm a lady cried But all too fast We sat down for tea I must admit I felt rushed The queen 